These are 300 vocal prayer decrees. They're by Tim Sheets. We decree, Holy Spirit, you are now supervising a new movement of awesome revival. Angel armies, you are ascending and descending, and we are under an open heaven. Angels, you are ministering fresh fire from heaven's altar. It's purging iniquity off of us. Praise God. Power from heaven is flowing to us and through us. Holy Spirit, you are breathing life into our King Jesus' campaign. Holy Spirit, you are breathing life into miracles, healings, and wonders in the heavens and on the earth, especially Washington, D.C. This movement is now accelerating forward. Holy Spirit, you are now accelerating forward to us with far more of the angels than you did on Pentecost in Acts 2. Angel armories are being commissioned to be present and minister to us with us. Angel activity is increasing exponentially. Revival greater than Pentecost in Acts 2 is now flowing. Greater power than has ever been seen in church history is now flowing through the King's Church and His Ecclesia. There's now an alignment of Heaven's Angel Army with the Remnant Warrior Army, and they will now synergize together under Holy Spirit supervision to demonstrate that the Kingdom of God is present, energized, activated, and will succeed. Power for mighty deliverance be loosed. Power for kingdom exploits be loosed. Deep currents of Holy Spirit power that produce the largest harvest of souls in history be loosed. Angel network be loosed to help gather harvest. New strategies of evangelism be loosed. Revelation and enlightenment be loosed. We loose the Air Force, the assisters of the heirs of Christ. We loose the troops of heaven to fight alongside of us. In Jesus' name, we deploy them into our nation's capital and all 50 states. Activate the kingdom of King Jesus and Holy Spirit's plan in this nation at accelerated levels. Angels carrying and assisting the king's anointing be loosed. Angels assisting the Holy Spirit and fresh outpourings be loosed. God activity, the only God's, that only God's ability can create, be loosed among us. Holy Spirit, execute God activity right here and right now. Release God happenings in the church. We will participate in God happenings. We will see more angel activity than demon activity. We forbid demon activity in Jesus' name. We have far more righteous angels on our side than demons against us. The natural number is not the kingdom number. Lord Sabbath, the Lord of angel armies, is on our side. We are winning. In Jesus' name, enemy resistance in the natural realms or spiritual realms is being scattered and shattered. Angels are striking the enemies of the king. Angels are ambushing hell's forces as our praise ascends before our great God. Our praise decrees are producing victory that looks impossible in the natural realm. The kingdom of God is now being extended locally, regionally, and throughout the earth. Bold, passion, energized, and authoritative angels are assisting us to do the same works Jesus did. Angel armies, you are camped round about us because we respect the Lord and says what he says. Angel armies, in Jesus' name, we loose you now. Work for us. Assist us. Angels, you are circling to protect our borders. You protect us and you work for us. Angels, you are revolving around us to deliver and bring salvation in the spirit realms and in the natural realms. Angels, you are present time deliverers. You are here right now to deliver us now. Angels, you are circling to make ugly situations turn into lovely situations. In Jesus' name, angels be loosed to take hold of bad circumstances and events on life's journey and turn them around for our good. Angel armies, assist Holy Spirit to turn them for good. We release you, angels, to rescue, strip away bondages, remove obstacles that hinder and protect us from hell's strategies. Angels, we loose you to lead us to unbelievers who are receptive to Jesus. Angels, bring answers to prayers. Just like Daniel and Revelation described, be loosed. Angels who organize around the prayers of the saints and help bring them to pass, work now in our lives. Angels who organize around our prayers for this region as Holy Spirit supervises, assist us in doing the work of the ministry. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to release angel armies to bring answers to our prayer. Angels, tip the prayer bowls of heaven into the fire that is on heaven's altar. We decree heaven's angel armies are released into the affairs of men as a result of our crying out to you, O God. We cry out, God, 
Give us mercy. Grant us loving kindness. Hear our prayers. In Jesus' name, angels, come execute judgment upon deep-rooted iniquity in our region and in our nation. Angels, engage in combat against sin and perversion. Angels, engage and fight doctrines of devils. Angels who go before us to open doors, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who go ahead to prepare our way for success, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who cut off enemy attacks, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who arrange divine connections to people or events, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who assist prophetic promises to come to pass, be loosed in Jesus' name. Bring them to us. Accelerate them. Angels who bring messages from the Godhead, be loosed in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, release the angels who bring enlightenment and revelation. Angels who bring us supernatural strength to finish our assignments, be released in Jesus' name. We release angels of strength. Angels strengthen us to overcome and reign with Jesus. We release in this world angels to attack Jezebel's, Aslam, Absalom's, and Ahab's. We loose angels to free our assignments. We loose angels to give us great victory. We loose angels to protect us from property being stolen from us. We send the angels who strengthen your church and your people. We lose strength to stand and win in Jesus' name. We are strong in the Lord and the power of his might. We declare the kingdom of God grows and prevails. We decree the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord says it is time for a new release of the Holy Spirit's power. The king's anointing and authority will increase in unprecedented delegated proportions. Angel Network, you are assisting Holy Spirit in exalting heaven's king. And now the young and the old will participate in the greatest movement of God's kingdom in history. Yeehaw. The transgenerational outpouring prophesied by Joel be loosed upon us now in Jesus' name. Anointing on all flesh be loosed to us and through us. Anointing for increased dreams and visions be released. Lost harvest be restored to us. Lost property be restored to us. Lost finances be restored to us. Lost business be restored to us. The years the locusts and palmer worms and the canker worms have eaten are being restored. Prodigals come home. We are not losing. We are not losing our sons and our daughter, daughters. Multitudes in the valley of decision are coming to Christ, and they are being saved. Our great God has sworn this to us in an oath of obligation, and angels are hearkening to it and bringing it to pass. We decree angels who assist Ecclesia to shift their regions into alignment with God's will, be loosed. Angels who help apostles shift their regions into alignment with God's will, be loosed now in Jesus' name. Sent ones, come to us and do the head of the church's bidding. We welcome your ministry. Angels, you are coming and helping us extend his kingdom throughout this nation. Angels, you are helping us complete kingdom business in this nation. Angels who bring great deliverance to apostles, you are being released now in Jesus' name to bring the great gospel of truth to our nation. We decree confinement be broken and great liberty be restored. Liberty to do assignments from heaven upon all ecclesia and all apostles be loosened. In Jesus' name we forbid hell's hindrance to our assignments. They will not work. We bind them in Jesus' name. Amen. Release warriors from heaven to partner with ap apostolic vision. Release angels to assist in shifting God's kingdom in this nation into harvest mode. We decree a shift from bondage to liberty be loosened. A shift from being owned to owing be loosed. Power from do, new uh, beginnings be again. loosed. From owned to owning. From owned to owning be loosed. Power of new beginnings be loosed. Power to be fruitful and multiply be loosed. Gifts of the Holy Spirit be loosed in greater measure than ever before. Words of wisdom be loosed. Words of knowledge be loosed. Gifts of faith be loosed. Gift of healings be loosed. Working of miracles be loosed. Prophecy be loosed. Discerning of spirits be loosed. Tongues and interpretation be loosed. In Jesus' name, we ask for the gifts of the Holy Spirit to move among us. We decree we will move with the Holy Spirit. We will move forward. We decree a shift in this nation to move from complacency to discipleship, from intimidation to valor, from hopelessness to confidence, from four walls inside buildings to the streets, from selfish Christianity to servant Christianity. Let's see if there's anything on the next page. From consumer Christianity 
to discipleship, from lost harvest to in gathering. We decree that resources are being restored and multiplied. We decree that generations are growing together and angel armies are assisting Holy Spirit's campaign to bring in the greatest harvest of souls that has ever been seen. We ask Holy Spirit to loose harvest right here and right now. We decree we are entering into a new season. We are leaving the dock. Our sails are up. Gathering Holy Spirit's breezes, we are sailing into deep waters. New things never done before will now be done. New strategies, blessed by Holy Spirit, will now be done, assisted by angel armies in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit is now implementing a major shift in the kingdom of God in this entire region and this nation. He is now releasing the revival of King Jesus. It is the last day's outpouring. It is the greatest ingathering of harvest the world has ever seen. The angels of heaven are now activated and released under Holy Spirit's supervision to accelerate the shift into harvest mode and to assist the reaping. In Jesus' name, we loose angels to assist us in gathering harvest. Harvest angels be released now to accomplish our King's commission with us. We decree harvest multiply. Multiply now at levels never seen before. Angels, help us target millions in the valley of decision. We loose the convicting power of the Holy Spirit to draw multitudes to repentance. We loose the gospel, which is the power of God, to be fruitful and multiply. We decree our faith, delay no longer. Angels sent to deal with delay, be loosed in Jesus' name. We forbid delay. We forbid hindering demon spirits. We bind their work in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, release angel armies against hindering spirits and delays. Come, Holy Spirit. Empower the gospel of the kingdom in tangible ways. Let your power be seen. Come, angel armies, and open doors for the gospel of truth to prevail. Angels who are sent to facilitate the gospel of salvation through Jesus be loosed. Angels sent to assist us, assist us to scatter and shatter all demon-influenced blockages be loosed in Jesus' name. We decree in Jesus' name all doors, channels, paths, roads, highways, and byways be open before us. Angels anointed to bring great awakening be loosed in Jesus' name. Assist us under Holy Spirit's power to awaken Christ's church. Awaken the passive. Awaken the cold believers. Awaken the lukewarm. Awaken the lethargic in faith. Angels, help us awaken the hearts of dispassionate, part-time Christians who have embraced hell's delusional compromise. Shake them from their slumber. Challenge the iniquity of their heart. Bring heaven's fire. Holy Spirit, bring angels as tongues of fire like the day of Pentecost to confront dispassionate Christianity. We ask you, Lord, loose Holy Spirit's fire among us. Loose it today. Loose it here. Release holy angels of fire among us to burn iniquity from the hearts, the minds, and the lips of believers in this region. Send your fire. Let it blaze. Send awakening fire. Fire of God, fall on us like the day of Pentecost in Acts 2. We decree... Holy Spirit and angels of fire are welcome among us as our King ordains. We decree we are shifting from oppression to glory. God's glorious presence will be visibly seen in this nation. We ask that the awesome, weighty presence of God become heavier and heavier. We ask that your glory be as thick a thick cloud and pillars of fire. We invite your holy presence. Come be God among us. Manifest your glory. Reveal your glory in this region. Reveal your glory to us and through us in this nation. We have prepared an upper room over our lives, our families, and this region. Come fill that upper room with your glory. Pour out your spirit in this upper room right here and now. We loose angel armies who ride the rays of your presence. We decree the New Testament church will now emerge from the culture to rule and reign with Christ. We decree we will be filled and refilled with the Holy Spirit and power from heaven. We decree that God's heaven, Holy Spirit, and his angels, in partnership with the New Testament church, will now work together in the greatest mission of the church in all of time. The young and the old will participate together. The third great awakening of King Jesus has begun in this nation and this region and will now accelerate. A new Jesus movement is beginning to move greater than the charismatic movement. Loose the angel army sent to assist a new Jesus movement. We agree with you, Lord. We agree with your words. We agree with your will. Revival roll through America. We hear the marching troops of heaven. We hear the sound of revival, awakening, and reformation. 
In Jesus' name, we march to see it done. We embrace the call of heaven to move and retake the land. Angels who do God's good pleasure in our lives be loosed in Jesus' name. Strong, watchful, listening angels of wisdom and power circle us right now to minister the goodwill of God in concrete, real ways. Angels who cause the benefits of the kingdom of Christ to materialize for us be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who cause the benefits to stick to us like honey on our hands be loosed. We decree the favor of God is all over Christ's heirs. Long-lasting benefits are materializing for our families. They are intersecting with our family's life journeys. Angels are surrounding us to bring it to pass. In Jesus' name, we release angels who assist the release of the high priestly anointing of Jesus to us and through us. It's a breakthrough anointing. Angels who cause justice of freedom to intersect with our lives, be loosed. Angels who cause God's promises to materialize, be loose. We free all God's promises to happen in our lives, intersect with us. We free all of our rights as heirs of God to come to us. Angels who are bringing your kingdom blessings, be loosed. Angels who are sent to assist our destiny, be loosed. Angels sent to reveal and draw out our God-given purpose, our God-given potential, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who connect us to people, places, circumstances, events, and to our purpose, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who assist Holy Spirit in leading God's plan for our lives before we were ever born, be loosed in Jesus' name. We were born for these times. We declare our potential is loosed and angel assisted in Jesus' name. We declare our destiny is Holy Spirit empowered. We confess, we decree, we speak forth from our nature to believe. I will fulfill my purpose. I will complete my destiny. I will reach to more and more of my potential. The gifts, talents, and abilities God put in me are being anointed to reach new levels. Angels assigned to me the day I was born have been briefed concerning my purpose, and they are partnering with me to accomplish God's will for my life. God has placed a future and a hope before me, and it's all good. He who has begun a good work in me will complete it. Angels are present time ministers connecting me to destiny assignment. They are protecting my purpose. They are wrestling destiny out of me. Angels sent to bring us success, prosperity, and financial security be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who connect us to places, people, events, business, material property, sales, jobs, and job promotions that prosper us, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels assigned to intersect our lives with financial blessings, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels who watch our offerings and minister covenant rights to Christ's heirs, be loosed in Jesus' name. The tithe brought to God's house causes Jehovah Jireh, our provider, to open the heavens over our lives and families. Angels ascend and descend through that open heaven, bringing providential blessings. Angels orbiting our lives, descending from paths opened in the heavenly places to give us financial breakthroughs, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels from pathways in the skies that are working to transfer the wealth of the wicked to Christ's heirs, be loosed in Jesus' name. We decree wealth is being transferred to us individually and corporately. Angels descending from the breaker himself, Jesus, are carrying his breaker anointing to intersect with our lives. They are coming to bust up financial bondage. They are coming to supernaturally remove debt. They are scattering and shattering whatever devours the finances of the saints. Under the divine oversight of Father God, angels assigned to us are fighting off the devourer that our God has rebuked. Angels are assisting the Godhead's release of blessings spiritually, physically, and materially upon our lives and extended family. In Jesus' name, we release them to ascend and descend. Angels sent to show us rams caught in the thicket, provision we know nothing about, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels sent to reveal hidden treasure we knew, we knew nothing about, be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels, lead us to places of great resources that God has prepared for us. The same God who opened a promised land for Moses and Israel is doing it for us. Places of promise are opening to us. In Jesus' name, we loose angels sent to lead us to places of great resources. We decree that people who we don't even know are being used by Holy Spirit and his angels to bless us. Angels are intersecting them with our lives. 
angels sent to lead us into inheritance we knew nothing about be loosed in Jesus' name. We decree abundance, prosperity, plenty be released. Covenant blessings of financial success be released now in Jesus' name. Devour your rebuke by God off the lives of every covenant heir, just like God says. We declare freedom. The windows of heaven are open over us, just like God's word says. Blessings are coming upon us and overtaking us. Bonuses are coming upon us. Checks in the mail we knew nothing about are coming. Deals, great deals are coming upon your heirs, O God. Inheritance is finding us. Stocks and bonds are blessed and blessed and blessed. Property value will accelerate in worth. We decree the wealth of the sinner is being laid up for us, just as your word says. Prosperity be released now. In Jesus' name, we bind lack and loose abundance. We bind poverty and loose plenty. We bind neediness and loose finances. We bind poor living and loose success. You have ordained us to bear much fruit. We decree we are fruitful people. We are blessed in the city and we are blessed in the country. We're blessed coming in and going out. The Lord commands his blessings upon us. Just as Deuteronomy 28 says, God blesses the works of our hand. He makes us plenteous in goods. He opens his good treasure over us and rains it down upon us. Angels sent to connect us to covenant prosperity. Be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels sent to assist Christ's church to extend his kingdom into this nation, be loosed in Jesus' name. We are here to establish the rule of God's word, his statutes, his covenants, his laws, and his principles. And King Jesus is releasing angel armies to help us do it. Holy Spirit is empowering it from heaven through the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit that has ever occurred. Waves of Holy Spirit enablement are now gathering angel armies to partner with the church to battle for the throne of their region. Holy Spirit empowerment, strategies, and angel armies will assist the New Testament church to bind hell's tactics and loose the gospel of the kingdom. The church will govern regions, decreeing what God says. We rise now to occupy the throne of our region. King Jesus gives us authority to overrule hell's government. We make that ruling today, and angel armies are now assisting us. Amen. We rise to make ruling decrees backed by Father God, King Jesus, Holy Spirit, the kingdom of heaven, and angel armies. In Jesus' name, we cleanse the heavens over our region of principalities and powers of darkness. We cast down and displace demon princes from iniquitous thrones. Amen. Be removed in Jesus' name. Your rights to this territory are broken by superior power and authority. It was broken by the cross and the blood of Jesus. The New Testament church overrules the kingdom of hell in Jesus' name. The power of God destroys your strongholds in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit and his angels are working with the New Testament church to take the seat of power in this region. The heirs seated with Christ in heavenly places occupy the territorial thrones of this region. We will occupy seats of power and influence for Christ's kingdom. Angels are protecting us, delivering us, and reinforcing our decrees of faith. Powers, mights, and dominions of hell will be shaken down from their positions of influence. Our God is right now shaking the earth and the heavens. Jesus, loose angel armies to battle against fallen demons. Battle them with us. We loose battalions of angels ordained for these times on earth. We decrease hell's ideology, oppressive nature, lust for power, idolatry, greed, and demon thinking promoted through rebel government be bound in Jesus' name. Angels sent to assist us in overruling rebel government be loosed in Jesus' name. Angels sent to assist us in removing oppressive government be loosed in Jesus' name. God call rebel powers of the sky and rebel kings in on the carpet. God, we ask you to punish the hosts of hell and the rebel kings who oppress us. In Jesus' name, we, the heirs, the ecclesia, the church, overthrow demon powers in this region and nation. We sit with Christ, occupying the spiritual throne of rule as command in the dominion dominion mandate. We will affect the function and release of natural government upon the earth for our King Jesus. Amen. Righteousness will prevail. Our King will be honored. The word of Lord shall be obeyed. Hallelujah. The true New Testament church of Jesus will rise to change rebel government and discipline this nation, disciple this nation. God is not done with America. The covenants made with our founding fathers will prevail. America will be ablaze with revival. America will see the greatest awakening in history. 
We will not be silent cowards. We will not be cowardly, submissive, spineless, politically correct appeasers. Appeasers. We will not compromise the truth. We will say what God says. We will say it boldly with passion and do so every single time. We will prophesy the word of the Lord. Our definition of right and wrong will not be blurred by experimental doctrines of demons. We are those who stand for God's ways, fixed and immovable. God's word of truth will be our testimony. The stars from their orbits, the angels from their orbits are fighting alongside of us. Angels from their spheres are fighting principalities and powers according to our decrees. Angels are orbiting to hearken to God's word that we decree. They are hearkening to to prophetic words that we decree. They are listening for prayers we pray in alignment with God's will. They are moving with power to bring God's word to pass. They are moving with power to give us great victories. They are moving from their heavenly spheres, empowered by Holy Spirit, to give supernatural breakthroughs to God's people. We, the remnant church, will declare what God says. Angels will hear it, and together we will fight hell and win. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. On April 29th, 1607, Reverend Robert Hunt stood and offered this prayer. We do hereby dedicate this land and ourselves to reach the people within these shores with the gospel of Jesus Christ and to raise up godly generations after us and with these generations take the kingdom of God to all the earth. May this covenant of dedication remain to all generations as long as this earth remains and may this land along with England be evangelist to the world. May all who see this cross remember what we have done here. And may those who come here to inhabit join us in this covenant and in this most noble work that the Holy Scriptures may be fulfilled. From these very shores, the gospel shall go forth, not only to this new world, but the entire world. The following Bible passage was then read at the conclusion of his prayer. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he ruleth among the nations. Psalms 22, 27-28, Geneva Bible.